So what sort of psychological effects are common after a cancer diagnosis? Well, I suppose it makes sense to go back to the beginning. If we look at diagnosis, um, often shock and disbelief in the beginning. Another way of putting that is nature's anaesthetic, keeping us away from big feelings. Um, soon moving into emotional turmoil for patients, partners and families. Um, and disruption, because quickly, very quickly, everything moves into hospital appointments. So sometimes the focus can be on just getting the job done, getting through it, survival mode, really. Um, end of treatment is often a common time when patients find themselves at my door. They're often shocked. They expect to feel a sense of normality back or elation, but they don't. Um, often it's a time when a time for big feelings to emerge. Mm. Feelings of loss, loss of safety, loss of control, lots of different losses and, and grief around that. Um, also feelings of anxiety. You know, anxiety is there, often feelings of uncertainty mm. um, fuel. That's a big one. Feel that one, yes. I think definitely. all of our members talk to us about anxiety, certainly. Yeah. And very natural to, yeah. very natural to feel yeah. those things. Yeah. What kind of emotions would patients expect to feel? Um, well, often what I'll say to patients when they come in is that um, I work with grief a lot through the day, and grief is about any loss. It's a yeah. natural, a natural response to loss. Um, so I will encourage them to be with that. Obviously not 24-7, but rather than push it away or feel it's, it's something that they shouldn't be doing, um, I'll encourage them to let that happen. Um, before we can adjust to, to what's different, we have to grieve for what we've lost, whether that is something through surgery or whether that's loss of normality, loss of safety. Um, so big feelings can come up and not at the beginning. So sometimes people feel they're going backwards, but they're not. It's just time for another part of the experience, that's all. Sure. We've been talking to a lot of people who say that they've been treated after diagnosis and treatment for post-traumatic stress disorder and of course we're very aware that those mm. things can come from those feelings. Yes, yes. How would somebody know that they've got PTSD? I think if they notice that the, the, the thoughts that they, they are they're finding themselves drawn back to um, are disrupting their everyday lives um, and, and they're feeling panic or they're well, traumatic events that they're finding themselves going back to. It's an extremely stressful time of a cancer diagnosis, as we mm. know, um, as well as all the other experiences attached to it. So actually, if they are drawn to those memories and, and find themselves um, affected by that on a, on a, on a big scale. So yeah. it's if they were feeling that maybe, say, six months after or something, well, maybe any seek amount help. Of time, really. really, any amount of time. You know, I often, people will come at any different stage mm. of their illness um, there's no right or wrong for patients, you know, everybody's individual, but um, they'll come at all different times depending on what's happened to them. Um, so some people need to talk through those traumatic events um, to work through that, but it's not about making people do that either. That's really important too. Right. And reminding them that it is a memory that they're working through at the time and talking through. So yes. Great.